Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at my Vetran run with this amazing Fossil Cup team. So the team I am using is Escavalier Double Water Team. Escavalier takes care of the grass types where my backline struggles and then my backline takes care of those fire types, uh, flying water type like Mantine and Pelipper and Jellicent where my Escavalier struggles. So let's get into the battles and check out this team in action into the first match we have a cavalier versus polyrath not a good lead so i will switch out into my fur alligator and opponent comes in with this uh, lantern so here i will try to get a switch advantage so that i can align my lantern onto the polyrath so i will go for the this hydro cannon and if opponent doesn't shield this charge move i will shield and i will go for the switch advantage i will shield this charge move and i guess Opponent will not reach another charge move, which he don't. And now I will, like, opponent will come in, probably will come in with his polyrath. And now I will come in with my lantern, and everything is going good. Uh, but here I realize that it's early for the ice event, so opponent is trying to pop counter down my lantern. Uh, this strategy is in polyrath's favor because I won't reach enough charge moves to KO this polyrath. And I won't be able to uh, spark it down uh, Polyrath because it has a lot of HP. So I switched out into my Escavalier and here uh, with this pup my Escavalier will die and uh, opponent's final Pokemon is Berserker so I lose this game. GG's to my opponent well played. Into the next game we have Escavalier versus Galisopod. Galisopod is just counter damage. So it's not a good matchup for my Escavalier again. So I will switch out into my Fire Alligator after, uh, like, have, after like gaining some energy on my Escavalier. Opponent comes in with his, with his lantern. Opponent no shields the crunch. So here I will try to uh, get shield advantage, uh, switch advantage again. So I will double shield here and then I will uh, throw two hydro cannons to either uh, force two shields or uh, gu guarantee switch so i will go for the first hydro cannon opponent decides no shield which works in my favor because lantern versus gully spot is really good matchup for my uh, lantern and opponent comes in with his gully spot i'm gonna throw this crunch opponent decided to no shield crunch did huge damage on liquid uh, on gully support and opponent's final pokemon is lucario here i will go for this acid spray opponent shields the charge and we do does a lot of counter damage with acid spray defense drop and now my lantern can just spark down both lucario and gullisopod for the win ggs to my trainer to my opponent into the next match we have escavalier versus polyrath so this is all this is not a good matchup i am staying in here for a while and opponent showed that he has pop pop so i will throw this drill run to either get uh, shield advantage or do some chip damage so that I can come in with my fire alligator and opponent it should be forced to switch out. Opponent comes in with his uh, Ferrothorn catches the Hydro Cannon which is decent. Now I will go for the crunch before Ferrothorn makes it to a charge move and opponent decided to no shield so I will shield this charge move and I will uh, get the switch advantage again because I don't want to see that Polyrath on my on my Escavalier. Opponent's final Pokemon is Lantern. So I will throw this Hydro Cannon to do some chip damage. And now I will come in with my Escavalier. Force uh, energy from this Lantern. And then I will come in with my Lantern. And let's see what we can do here. So I should go for Thunder uh, Thunderbolt. Because if opponent no shields the Surf. Then it will be really bad for me. So I will go for the Thunderbolt. It will likely be shielded. Yes. And then opponent uh, then my uh, win con here is to like over farm so that i can outpace that polyrath to the charge move as well opponent comes in with this polyrath i'm gonna i don't have any shields i will throw this uh thunderbolt and now i am five fast moves away from thunderbolt and opponent needs six fast move for surf and i will outpace this opponent of uh, one fast move before to win this game G jeez into the next match we have escavalier versus mantine bad lead for us so i will switch out into my fire alligator and opponent comes in with his ferrothorn so here i will go for I, I will again go for the switch advantage and 
uh, if opponent does not bait with mirror shot i will definitely i can easily like take back switch switch advantage so yeah i will go for the hydro cannon to force the shield opponent decided to no shield so we get the switch advantage uh, with only using one shield which is pretty good for us and opponent comes in with his lucario so we will uh, get uh, one shield from opponent anyway so now i will come in with my excavalier opponent comes in with his mantine and here i will completely farm down this mantine for a lot of energy and then i will force uh, this and i will throw the all of this energy onto the lucario to win this game we farm down this mantine and as you can see we almost have two and a half uh, we have two and a half surf loaded for the lucario so that's why opponent surrenders into the final match of this set which will decide if we reach veteran or not we have uh, escavalier into pelipper i switch out into my feather and opponent comes in with his feather thorn so pelipper versus lantern is a really good matchup for my lanterns that's why i will go for the uh, switch advantage opponent decided to no shield the crunch and here i will go for this hydro cannon to force the shield and if opponent uh, like throws either power whip or thunder i have this switch in my bag basically opponent goes for the power whip now uh, opponent gets to another charge move this should be a mirror shot because i was counting this was definitely not enough energy for a power whip which it was mirror shot we go for the crunch against pelipper opponent shields the charge move and now i will come in with my lantern and opponent's final pokemon is s cavalier so i will mirror the matchup with my own s cavalier i survive one drill run here so i don't uh yeah i survive one drill run and i will throw my own drill run to do uh quite a bit of damage and then i could have farmed down with my lantern and then lantern versus pelipper really good matchup for my lantern and i win the game g g's so here is my veteran run uh thanks everyone for watching and i will see you in the next one